love lilac. Ever since I was a little girl, I've loved lilacs. It's my very favorite smell. And they try to make things smell like lilacs, like uh, some perfumes and sprays and hand lotions, but they never can quite get it right. I mean, God's got it right. Lilacs are the best. You have to watch it, though, when you smell them because they've always got some bugs in there and the bees are going around. So in the evening like this is the best time to come out and just enjoy them. But you know what? There's only a few days. Any of you that are lovers of the lilacs, there's a lesson that the lilacs can um, teach us. It's another one of God's lessons, of course. You know, the lilacs, um, it doesn't matter. Sometimes they're later in the season, depending on the weather. Sometimes they're earlier. But what you know is, is once they start coming on, if you're going to enjoy them, enjoy them now. Because they're going to be gone. They're here for a very short time. They smell so good, they look so beautiful, and then they're gone, and you have a, just a green bush the rest of the year. In the Bible, um, um, God goes on and on, telling us all kinds of things about waiting on the, on the Lord, waiting on Him, and there's that kind of a timing where you think, well, um, our calling in life is to wait. But then Jesus was really big on um, watch, be ready. Um, and the timing and Paul actually pushed it even further in the scriptures about that, that the time is now and to get on with the work run the race and um, I think there's a lesson from the lilacs sometimes people say well I'm gonna do that when I retire or you know I really want to serve uh, Jesus but I don't really have time now or uh, the people that they love I hear people putting off loving the people they love um, just think about that. The lilacs are here today, but if I don't enjoy them today, they're not going to be here too many tomorrows from now. What about doing, being Jesus' disciple and doing the ministry like now? Do you have tomorrow? What about the people that you love? Tell them you love them today. Don't wait until tomorrow. The work that you really want to do, the witness you really want to make, do it today. Don't wait for tomorrow. Because isn't today yesterday's tomorrow? And really tomorrow never comes. And the good Lord has given you today. And it's from his hand according to his timing. So learn from the lilacs. The time to witness, to work, and to live out the love of Jesus Christ is today. Right now. Thank you.